What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World. And what we're going to be talking about right now is the best abilities to use and how to save AP with those abilities. Now, there are a lot of different variations with it, but I'm guaranteeing you guys that you're going to get better at the game and be ready, a little bit more prepared for what's coming in Madden 23, because I don't believe that abilities are going anywhere. So you got to really understand the concept and why I do the things that I do. Uh, typically, I try to make sure, right? that whatever system that I'm running or whatever I'm doing, that everything is beneficial to whatever offense I'm running. So for those of you guys that don't understand it or it's the first time, I just come out and moss dudes. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably give you, let me give you a quick little, um, a quick little look at what goes on. It doesn't matter who the person is, you know, top level players, whoever. Okay, this guy's just throwing a Stevie. This is the wrong one. Um, he, he didn't really care about anything, dudes. Uh, he just said, look, I'm going to throw a Stevie and that's what it is. Uh, but typically what happens is this, right? Um, all right, let me move, move it back a little bit. Uh, I just come out with an offense like this. You know, I'm coming out to Moss dudes. I got uh, Drake London on the right. I got uh, Darren Waller on the left. And I'm Mossing you. I don't care who it is. West Street, he's 6'4". I don't care, dude. We're we going to do what we're going to do what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do what it do. Sheen don't do. That's an inside joke. A lot of you guys know what that is, what the Sheen don't do. Shout out to you guys if you know what it means. If you don't, you haven't been here long enough, so that's your fault. What you need to do, hit that subscribe button, and let's start partying with each other. All right? So I'm going to give you guys a complete breakdown of what you actually need. We've gone over several different ways uh, with the offensive line, so I'm going to give you guys the insight into that. What you'll notice right here, many of you guys already know, uh, during the Easter... Uh, you know, Easter promo, we were able to get Robert Hunt. He gets that post up for zero. Yes, that's zero. He is a power up as well. So if you power him up, you will get the boosted stats and then you will get that post up for zero in the fourth slot. Now, why is it important to have him? Obviously, if you choose to run escape artists or anything like that, any kind of crazy offense, the post up pretty much makes it so it's harder for any blitz to come down through the middle. They just make sure, like they actually block, they do stuff and it's like, they actually have a brain for the players that have it, right? Um, typically, the pro players set the standard like three years ago to have it on both the guards. It still works today. So it's the same formatted video game, same engine. So everything works. You know, you'll, you'll pretty much see a lot of dudes either have one with Robert Hunt or you'll see two. And it'll always be on the guards. We tried out having a whole old line of abilities. It did not give much benefit. They actually play better with just the two players like that with the actual post up. All right, just to give you guys insight into that. So that's all you need on your old line. I don't care who you are. I don't care how good uh, you are as a player. You'll see it from the pro level players to the top players that won the most money to even the beginners. If you have two post ups, it'll help you offensively for your running and your pass game. All right. Now, as far as what I do, I want to go ahead and point out, um, you know, pretty much with the uh, deep out. Everybody knows that deep out works. Even Micah Parson does. You know, you know, dude, NFL players know what's going on. So everybody knows what it is. The deep out is OP. Now, just so you guys understand, deep out, that's for like passes over 20 yards. So when you start throwing the ball and slinging that thing crazy, this will activate whether it's inside or outside. All right. It doesn't matter where it is. It'll activate. I would recommend you put it on the bigger, taller players because it definitely does uh, add a different dimension to your squad. So, you know, whatever players you're using, I would recommend the players with more height. Darren Waller is a big guy. You know what I'm saying? 6'6". Six, six. And then we have Drake London, who I showed you in the clip. Uh, that also goes crazy. And I don't know why I'm using uh, Red Zone Threat on him. He doesn't need that. Let me take that off of him real quick. That's kind of kind of like a look at me type thing. Um, so he has deep out elite and um, he's 6'5". So what's going to happen is once we're able to secure Ed Two Tall Jones, it'll be deep threats with deep out and they'll get it for one. And then that, you know, Drake London will be gone and that'll be it for him. Um, so that's what we're looking to do. Possibly once EA updates everything and we get better pack odds, we'll get that um, at two tall Jones. All right. So those are for your outside players. The inside guy, I would probably more or less, uh, I would tell you, you know, route tech is good. Uh, right now we had deep out on, on this guy because we only had the one AP left and that was why. Um, Jerry Rice, this is not the uh, maxed out Jerry Rice. This is the Jerry Rice right before. I'm not going to spend that kind of coin right now, obviously, because there are a lot of other things we can do, um, you know, with our coins right now, as far as saving for when they actually update um, the golden ticket boosted odds that they were calling them. Maybe they're going to, you know, fix the situation and then we'll utilize uh, our coins with something like that. Other than that, we don't really need anything going on. So the route tech, the slot guy with route tech, what it does is as long as you have hot route master, or you're running any type of play where there's a corner route or a post, he's going to cut very, very deep and just go. He's going to be gone. Now, the faster the player, the better. 
to me, what I've seen over time, Cooper Cup is like a god in this game. Uh, he goes crazy with it. Uh, for those of you guys that would be asking, like, yo, you know, what's the best slot receiver? Bro, Cooper Cup goes insane. He is absolutely ridiculous, bro. So, you know, pretty much with the way everything is, you're going to have to more or less understand, you know, what's going on with the situation. Um, depending on how you want to work it, I would just say go ahead and give him route tech. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you go over to uh, your running back, I would recommend Leapfrog. Now, Leapfrog is one of the most ridiculous abilities in the game. I remember when you could just jump over a guy. Now it's just pretty much you just journaling around and you can't fumble when you do the journal. So pretty much directional pad, you know, to the side you want to jump to and you hurdle and it becomes, it becomes a journal and you could jump right into a hit stick and nothing happens. Highly recommend it on your running back because it will frustrate your opponent beyond belief. And usually you'll end up going for six. Um, this is another guy with route tech, tight end. I would recommend that as well. He gets it for one AP, uh, Uncle Vern. I would definitely take a look at this to make sure uh, if you have the capability of adding him to your lineup. Remember, on any team, he's a 98 speed. So it doesn't matter if you're a Niner, you know, in the team he played for, the Washington Commanders, whatever. If you want to get him 99 speed and it works out for your theme team, that's fine. But I would just let you guys know, you can power him up. It's in the fourth slot for one. All right, moving right along, the quarterback, we're going to go ahead and jump to that real quickly, uh, Josh Allenton. Now, this is something that I really want you guys to understand. I was wondering, a, a lot of pro players, when Fearless was first released, they would just make sure they had that and pass lead to lead. And I'm like, yo, bro, does it really make a difference if you have Fearless? And I tried it before, and it was like I was still overthrowing passes. EA fluctuates the way abilities work, but I'm going to tell you this right now. If you have Fearless, you're throwing on the dime no matter who's in your face. It's like the most ridiculous thing ever. So I would tell you that I've gone through using it, getting rid of it, and bringing it back, and now I realize the value. So if they keep this going for Madden 23, use it. Because this absolutely works. It doesn't matter who's sacking you, what's going on, it's going to be a dime. And then obviously Hot Route Master and Gunslinger is self-explanatory. All right, so that covers the offense. Defensively, uh, it's a very, very uh, easy situation. Um, your user, I'm gonna recommend now, putting Lurker on Cam, uh, Cam Chancellor is a little bit of an overkill, but if you have an ultimate champion, the reason that Lurker is so wild is because they'll just cheat. You know what I'm saying? The ball will be way over his head, he'll just jump up wildly. Now, it's either this or Acrobat on the user. Acrobat will come in handy if you play somebody and you're usering and he low balls it, he'll just acrobat pick it on your user and you're good. I'm gonna let you guys know right now, if you don't have pick artists on your user, you're doing it wrong, you will drop a game winning pick. You will. It's guaranteed, it's in the algorithm, like EA Sports wants it to happen. So I would highly recommend pick artists on anybody that you're usering. If you wanna put it on your corners and stuff like that, I think that that's overkill, cause they're gonna still drop the ball in some cases, but it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, some of the boosted cards that have the baked in abilities with Acrobat, you know, this guy right here has the deep out zone KO. Uh, both of these things for two. I would look to, you know, utilize these specialty cards to make sure you get the most out of the abilities. I believe that it's very, very important to get Acrobat out there because the guys diving around is very important. Um, under pressure on one lineman and edge threaded lead on another seems to work very well. You don't need two edge threaded elites. That again is overkill, but it depends on how savage you want to be. If you want to have both of them, fine. Go with it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to let you guys know. Uh, edge Threat Elite and Under Pressure, it appears to work just as well. And uh, dudes are going to shed regardless. Uh, out of my way, on a, if you run like nickel packages or any packages where guys are inside, um, out of my way is a really good thing to put on a guy. I have him as a sub linebacker in one of my packages. So what happens is when he runs into a halfback or a tight end, he just, you know, they give him that light up animation and he just gets right around them. Uh, so if you're blitzing and he's a blitzer, obviously you're going to go ahead and utilize him. Um, the way that my thing is set up, I have another acrobat here for one of my safeties. Don't worry about the middle linebackers missing. That's because I utilize Cam Chancellor in a 4-3-6-1. Um, and you have to have no middle linebacker for that situation, so don't worry about that. And then finally, um, I don't know if you saw Warren Sapp before, you have to have at least one inside stuff. You don't need more than one. More than one is overkill, and it won't work, and dudes will still run inside zone on you, so one is fine. And then your corners that are on the outside, right? I, I'm going to highly recommend this, and I've been doing this since, since October, but I've been fluctuating. The flat zone KO is just good, especially for people that throw a lot of wheel routes. They will drop the ball if they make contact upon the hit so flat zone ko and acrobat on your outside corners and you should be good to go 
These abilities will help you win more games. Uh, you'll see a difference in the way your players, you know, react to the ball and things like that. And I think you'll have a lot more success within the game. Um, as far as the Superstar X Factors, I just put random stuff on. I'll show it to you. Unstoppable Force. You know what I'm saying? Zone Hawk. Just random stuff. And uh, obviously, Double Me is God uh, offensively. So you would rock that like that. And that's pretty much everything that you need to know right now to save AP. Also, wait a minute. Uh, Westry, the cornerback, he gets Acrobat for one. So if you wanted to go that route, but then if you wanted to use, um, you know, the flat zone, because Westry is a man-to-man -man archetype, you would still end up spending the same amount. Um, because although he gets Acrobat for one, he would have to spend two for flat zone. So right now, it depends on how you want to work it, but there are a lot of budget AP players that you can utilize and possibly make your team a lot better. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Hopefully you enjoyed the vid. If you did, like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, one love, y'all.